Okay, so the key to executing the fear harvester or any mean reversion system well, where you're trying to get the opening price is to make sure you get your trade executed in the opening price match. That means a market order won't do it because what happens is um, the market is closed until the morning. And when the market opens, the buyers, uh, sorry, the, the buyers are bidding up with limit orders and the sellers are, are offering their shares for lower prices. Mm -hmm. And in a liquid stock, there's an overlap, right? Um, that overlap, when the market opens, the first trade is the match of all of the overlapping buyers and sellers at the official opening price. Now, if we get that, then, we, then our trade is at the opening price. And if we compare later on to the um, backtest, we will have the same price the backtest got. If we don't get that opening price and like we have a market order, the market order gets executed immediately after that match. Right, the market as soon as the overlapping buyers and sellers are matched, then all that volume in the middle disappears because that's trade, their trades are executed immediately. Then there's buyers and sellers which don't quite overlap, they're mm -hmm. usually a tick or so apart, right? And, and the market order to buy will then hit the lowest seller. Immediately, you've got that slippage. Now, that may happen to be at the same price as the official True. open, but likely it won't be. Likely it'll be a tick away. And a tick on, say, a 15 cent stock could be half a cent. And that's all of a sudden a lot of slippage. Right. So you've got to, the key is to, to executing the system well is to avoid that by getting in in the opening price match. Now, um, there's a difference between getting the opening price and setting the opening price. Yeah. Now, let's say I want to buy 50,000 shares and it's a small stock that doesn't trade very much volume. We have the overlap here and we put our 50,000 share buy order way up here and the mm -hmm. overlap is down here. We'll definitely get executed probably right. if there's 50,000 shares we're trying to buy up to this level. But guess what? Our 50,000 share order is going to drag the official opening price way up here. If there's a lot of volume in the overlap and we put a 50 share order, somewhere in the top of the overlap, it's probably not going to affect the overlap, the um, opening price much at all, yeah. certainly no. not noticeably. So um, what you want to do is get practice at placing a limit order within the overlapping price. So if you're buying, you want to bid up such that when you look at this, the volume of sellers and the volume of buyers, realizing that the ones that are overlapping will get traded in the opening price match, you want to make sure yours will definitely be in the overlap. If you put the limit order too low and there's more buyers above you than there are sellers down to that level, then your order won't get filled. 